A good Nerev Shabbos to all. Hope you are doing well. Parashat Lech Lecha will be read tomorrow. And we're going to have a brief discussion about God's appearance to Avraham. Uh, this is taking place after the battle, after the war. And God has to say to him, listen, fear not. You made the right decision by defending your nephew, by going out and fighting those kings. And then God says to him, listen, you should know, worry not. Don't think that Eliezer will be the only one to carry on your legacy, but rather you're going to have children. They're going to inherit you, and you will have continuity. Now, God turning to this old man and saying you're going to have children was an incredible statement. And the Torah tells us that ve'he'emin ba'Hashem, you know, Avram believed in the Almighty. He trusted Him. And then the Torah adds, Vayachshavea lo tzedakah. He considered it an act of tzedakah, of righteousness. Now, it is unclear here who exactly considered the other as righteous. So commentators have two approaches. Uh, one approach is that the Almighty Himself Consider the fact that Abraham had faith as a righteous act. Fine. Explanation number two by many other commentators is that Avram Avinu recognized that for the Almighty to make such a promise, he didn't feel deserving, but he sensed in it the kindness of God Almighty, the tzedakah of the God Almighty. So he had faith in God and he considered the promise of children as an act of tzedakah, that is an act of kindness. He did not feel deserving. There's a third approach. This is a little bit more of a Hasidic approach, that when we go through challenge and we go through difficulty, we have to have faith. But on our own, it is hard to have faith. When we see suffering, when we deal with circumstances that are painful, it is hard to have faith. But God Almighty assists us in finding within ourselves emuna, faith. And that is an act of kindness from the Almighty. When we go through difficulty, uh, when we don't see an end to a situation we are facing, but nevertheless we find within ourselves the courage to say, you know what, there's a God running the world, there's a reason why these things are occurring, eventually through prayer is going to come to an end because God is merciful. When we find within ourselves that emunah, that is a gift from above. And based on that, what the text is telling us is he'emin ba'ashem. Avraham Avinu heard from God our Almighty that that which he is facing now, a life without children, is going to come to an end. He had faith in God. He considered the ability to have faith as an act of kindness from the one above. And this is something that we should recognize, that we have the ability within ourselves to go ahead and believe things are going to get better. We're going to overcome this challenge. Better times are waiting for us. And when we have that faith, let's be grateful to the Almighty, right, that He gives us that emunah. And that's how we relate to him, and that's how we make our lives better, lives of our nation better, and the world a better place. It should be a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.